I actually work in historic preservation, um, and this house did get listed on the National Register last year. So it was perfect that we had this place on the carriage house where they wouldn't really be visible. We'd know they were there, we could take people, show them, and sort of show how these two things are working together just fine, um, the old and the new. It's interesting to see how a lot of historic resources now uh, are incorporating solar energy and, and other types of energy into their framework. It's, it's not an exclusive thing. Uh, so I think it's worked really well. He's really been really interested in like the technical details of the solar and I'm like, hey, it works. You know, after like a week or so, we'd be like, oh, another really great solar day, another really great solar day. And so like over the past month, it's just been getting better and better. You know, we're, we're sort of trying to find as many ways as we can to reduce our usage so that, you know, having the supplement of solar energy will help us, you know, overall reduce even more. So we're maybe a little more of that kind of bent. Um, the, the local food movement and producing your own and the canning and uh, getting into building our garden over there on the other part of the property. So. <laughs>